Welcome back. We have made it to the try it portion of our approach to Psalm 55 in this section. Now, this try it piece is where we want to give you a little bit of a chance to just take some of what we've been exploring and digging deeper into this week and try it for yourself. Put it into practice. And I know sometimes that can feel a little bit awkward. And so on page 24, there are a couple questions to just help us approach that a little bit. Um, and these are things that actually were really helpful to me. But just before I read them, I want you to hear again from David's words in Psalm 55, because I think what we're going to try is exactly what he does. If you remember toward the beginning of the psalm, he says things like in verse 4, My heart is severely pained within me, and the terrors of death have fallen upon me. All right, so he labels specifically the fear that he is facing. And then later he says things like verse 16, as for me, I will call upon God and the Lord shall save me. In verse 22 that we looked at last time, cast your burden on the Lord and he shall sustain you. He shall never permit the righteous to be moved. So you see how he specifically identifies the fear, but then turns it to a prayer asking God to save him, to protect him, to carry that burden for him. So if you look at page 24, really these two pieces under try it go together in that way. The first one says this, keep a fear journal for the next seven days. Each time you have a negative thought like fear, worry, or regret, write them down. Now that can sound intimidating and that can sound like an awful lot of homework to do that for seven days. So, so maybe you just do it for today or, or maybe you just do it for the next few minutes because at the end of this video, there's going to be a song for you to listen to about overcoming fear. Maybe you even just use that song to think about this a little bit. And here's how this was helpful for me. Because I found that it was um, not necessarily to sit down and like for an hour just try to think of everything I could possibly be scared of. <laughs> but rather to just go through my normal life and as things triggered my anxiety or my worry or regrets, just in that moment to jot a note down on a piece of paper or into my phone um, and then to take that and, and go to the second step. That next to that, write something that you would like God to replace it with. For example, you would like God to replace your worry with hope, your regret with forgiveness or love, your fear with courage. So as you think about that, maybe as you listen to this song, as you think about these verses, try that. Be specific about labeling what makes you afraid. Because a lot of times we see the circumstances around us but often there's something a little bit deeper that those circumstances are attaching to. But if I start to recognize when that's happening, I can start to recognize that deeper thing, offer that to God, and then ask him to replace it with his hope, his forgiveness, his love. So I'll give you a minute here as you listen to this song to do that. But I'd like to pray that way with you first. Our Father in heaven, I thank you that we can bring the raw emotion like Psalm 55 straight to you. That you are not surprised by it, you're not shocked by it, and that you want to talk to us. And so God, I, I will just say for myself right now, you know that past regrets can make me fear future failure. So Lord, I would ask that you would remind me of your forgiveness, your love for me, and give me courage to follow you in the future. And I'll pray that in Jesus' name. Amen. You unravel me with a melody. You surround me with a song of deliverance from my enemies. Till all my fears are gone, we sing. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh, I am a child of God. I'm no longer a slave to fear. Oh, I am a child. Of God, if 
from my mother's womb You have chosen me Love has called my name I've been born again Into your family Your blood flows through my veins I'm no Yeah.